Hi everybody, welcome to the Storyverse today. You're with Natalie and Miss Rox here. Let's see where we're going to go and who we're going to meet. Who do you want to meet today? Who do you want to meet? You want to go somewhere? Let's go. <laughs> today on Storyverse, we're going to head into the world of nursery rhymes and find out the true story behind Hey Little Little and the Cow That Jumped Over the Moon with author Tony Wilson and Laura Wood. Tony Wilson is an Australian author. Let's have a read of Not the Cow Jumped Over the Moon, but The Cow Tripped Over the Moon, published by Scholastic Australia. Hey, diddle diddle, you all know the riddle. A cow jumps over the moon. It happened all right on a crisp cloudless night on the second last Friday in June. But what they don't say in the songs from that day is the cow didn't jump at first time. It seems a moon clearance takes great perseverance. So back to the scene of the rhyme. Moon attempt one, 9.17 p.m. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow fell flat on her face. In fact, she tripped over the little dog Rover, so never did make it to space. Oh dear. <laughs> Moon attempt two, 9.28 p.m. Hey, diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow took off for the moon. The moon, it was nearing. The dog started cheering. But the cow hit a hot air balloon. Moon attempt three, 10, 12 p.m. Hey, diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped under the moon. Her run-up was slow, she was never a show, and the fiddle was quite out of tune. It looks like everyone's having a little bit of a problem here, doesn't it? Oh dear. Moon attempt four, 10.56 p.m. It's getting late. Hey, diddle diddle, the dish and the fiddle, the cow mucked around with the spoon. The cow felt quite lazy, the details are hazy, and nobody went near the moon. <laughs> I can see the cat here. Can you see how the cat is mucking around with the spoon? <laughs> moon attempt five, one fifteen a.m. Oh my gosh, we're past midnight and into the early hours of the morning. How's she going to go? Hey, diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow tripped over the moon. The little dog laughed, he laughed till he barfed when the cow landed in a sand dune. Moon attempt six, 2.25 a.m. Oh gosh, must be getting tired. Hey, diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow got this take off right. She flew up so high that the moon sailed straight by and the cow rode a meteorite. Oh, oh dear. What's happening here? Moon attempt seven. 4.47 a.m. Hey, diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the sun. She took a wrong turn, felt the fire and burn, and didn't have very much fun. <laughs> the sun's wearing sunglasses. Oh, love. What's happening here? Do you think she's going to give up? 
they all look really sad. A new day was dawning and the grass smelled like morning. The cow stared into the sky. The night's almost over, she said to Dog Rover, a tear welling up in her eye. The dish fed her water and tried to support her. You've got to get over this hump. The spoon hummed a tune he called Cow Can Jump Moon and prepared her for one last moon jump. Can she do it? What do you think? <laughs> she looks ready. The whole group together said, Cow, now or never, we know that you'll make it this time. And as of this night, we'll remember your flight in a hey diddle diddly rhyme. Moon attempt eight, 5.43 a.m. Hey diddle diddle. The cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such fun and the dish ran away with the spoon. And look at them all getting to celebrate at the end there. Oh my gosh, she had so much persistence. I feel like I would have wanted to give up. Did she? <laughs> Thanks for joining us on Storyverse today. If you're an educator, check out our show notes with some ideas for how to use these books and themes in your classroom. Thanks, everyone. See you next time. Say goodbye. <laughs> okay.